Soils are formed from rock that is gradually broken down into smaller and smaller particles by gradual biological, chemical, and physical weathering processes. Soils are composed of inorganic minerals that come from weathering, organic matter and humus, water, and air. Millions of living organisms inhabit the soil. They include plants, fungi, algae, bacteria, protozoa, worms, insects, and larger animals. When they die, they are broken down by the microorganisms that inhabit the soil. These broken down remains, and the organism's waste, provides organic matter for the soil. When organic matter is well decomposed, it forms a stable, dark-colored substance called humus. Humus is important for soil structure and nutrient retention. Soil particles There are three types of soil particles. The large particles are sand. The medium particles are silt. And the small particles are clay. Soils are classified by the size and percentage of particles. They include sandy soils, silty soils, and clay soils. Sandy soils Sandy soils are dominated by the largest sized sand particles. These particles are loosely packed, leaving large pockets of air between the particles. These air pockets let water, nutrients, and minerals drain fast from these soils. Sandy soils are usually dry, loose, and have a gritty texture. For these reasons, soils with high percentage of sand are not as desirable for plant growth because they do not hold water, minerals, and nutrients well. Silty soils Silty soils are dominated by the medium-sized silt particles. Silty soils hold on to more water than sand. When wet, silty soils feel smooth, and when dry, they have a flower-like texture. Silty soils are usually found near water bodies. Clay soils Clay soils are dominated by the smallest-sized clay particles. These particles are tightly packed, leaving little space for air. Clay soils have good water storage qualities, meaning they can hold a high amount of water, and they drain slowly. When wet, clay soils feel sticky, and when dry, they are hard. After rain, clay soils can form a hard crust at the surface and in the summer, these soils can dry up and crack. Clay soils tend to get compacted, robbing the soil of spaces that can be filled by water, air, and plant roots, making it hard for plant growth. Loamy soils Loamy soils are a mixture of sand, silt, clay, and organic matter and humus, which is high in nutrients and water retention. Loamy soils are ideal for growing plants because they have the best combination of air, water, and nutrients. Mixture Soils In addition to loam, there are several other types of mixture soils, including silty clay, sandy clay, silty clay loam, clay loam, sandy clay loam, silty loam, loamy sand, and sandy loam. This concludes the video. For additional videos on biological resources, please go to my back bio page.